What's up, Combat Conversation fan? William Crowder back at you. I know I haven't made a video in quite some time, but I'm back like I never left. Listen, I uh, wanted to do a quick video about the Canelo Alvarez versus James Kirkland fight. I thought that was a great fight. Uh, this video was kind of to follow up the blog that I did on that fight. Um, it was a good fight, uh, on, especially on the behalf of uh, Saul Alvarez. Uh, Canelo Alvarez, as they call him, it was quite the display of power and accuracy for Mr. Alvarez. He put on a boxing exhibition. Um, but I don't think the result of that fight was, it was not so much as about how bad Kirkland was. I think he's, you know, a pretty decent fighter. Well, he's not a top tier fighter, obviously. But I think he's a pretty decent fighter. But that fight was more so about how good Alvarez is. Not, mu not as much how bad Kirkland was. Um, he hasn't fought in like 18 months, James Kirkland, and uh, th th this, this is his first fight in quite some time. Um, I was actually there. I got a chance to see him fight live at his last fight around 18 months ago when he fought Glenn Tapia at the Boardwalk Hall in Atlantic City, New Jersey. I was there live, and he scored a TKO over Tapia, Tapia who was also a pretty decent fighter. Um, but yeah, so I, I don't think Kirkland is a bad fighter at all, and I don't think this fight should reflect that. I just, I does think it reflects that. His status and as far as the <laughs> the tiers of fighters go, he's not a top tier fighter as of yet. Uh, yeah, you know his only other loss was back in April of 2011, and that was to you no know, Nobuhiro Ishida. I think I'm pronouncing his name correctly, the Japanese guy. And um, he took a nasty loss that time. He got TKO'd in the first round, and um, which brings me to my next statement. Um, I'm, I'm trying to figure out why he dropped his trainer, Ann Wolf. Ann Wolf is a pretty good trainer, and in regards to him training with her, he had an undefeated record. The only loss he took, which was against uh, Ishida, she wasn't in his corner then. She wasn't his trainer then. That would have raised a sort of a flag for me, so to speak, but whatever the case may be, his excuse or his statement in regards to him dropping Wolf was that he needed some fresh faces in his corner. Um, not really sure what he meant by that, but well, like I said, I'm not a boxer. <laughs> no, I'm a martial artist. There's a clear difference between the two. But uh, I don't know. You might want to reconsider that. Nevertheless, you, you'll, you'll, you'll see Kirkland bounce back. We will see Kirkland bounce back, I do believe. And uh, hopefully that his history of legal troubles and personal issues won't get in the way of that because that's been the main reason why you saw him have those layoffs in the ring. You wouldn't see him in the ring for a substantial amount of time. And it was because of whatever legal issues or personal problems and troubles he was having at the time. Uh, yeah, so good luck to you, James Kirkland. Hope to see you back in full force soon, back in the win column. Uh, in regards to you, Saul, Can uh, Saul Canelo Alvarez, that was an awesome fight. And I hope to see you uh, in line for some pretty big fights soon, maybe with uh, Triple G, Golovkin, maybe with Peter Quillen, uh, Kel Brook. Uh, who knows? Uh, all those three guys, uh, I think, would be pretty good competition for uh, Mr. Alvarez. Uh, since we're on the subject of boxing, I will be hosting, or not, excuse me, not hosting, let me choose my words wisely, I'm not hosting anything. I will be doing live coverage of the next Baltimore Boxing Renaissance here in Baltimore at Mountains West. I was at the last one. Uh, shout out to Shaw Brothers, man. I had an awesome time there, and I'll be doing live coverage again from Baltimore Boxing Renaissance, the third one they have in here. It's going to be held at Mountains West again. And it's going to be on June the 20th. So Combat Conversation will be there in the building live, ringside, giving you full details, full coverage. And I'm going to have a ball again. We had a ball last time. We're going to have a ball again. So whoever can make it, hope to see you there. Whoever can't make it, check it out on the blog. We're going to have coverage, photos, pictures, interviews. We're going to be doing the, uh, the weigh-ins this time as well, a few days before. So we'll have a lot of inter more interviews from the fighters this time. Uh, yeah, we're going to have some fun. <laughs> We're going to have a lot of fun. So I uh, hope to see you guys there. And uh, please keep sending the email. Keep sending the request. Keep sending any questions you may have. Any suggestions about any blogs you would like to see coming up soon. Uh, keep sending them. And uh, the email address, you should see it somewhere right here at the bottom of your screen. <laughs> but we post the blog email address all the time. But uh, yeah, keep it coming, guys. You guys have been uh, awesome. You guys have been showing me nothing but love but support. And I truly appreciate it. So stay tuned for the bright future of Combat Conversation. 
revolutionizing the world of combat sports. We hear it. 